CD and DVD drives are the primary way to install operating systems like Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, programs, and games onto a computer. They allow large amounts of data to be stored on a portable disk and read back in any computer. A Blu-ray drive is also an option. CD disks can store around 700 megabytes of information. DVD disks can store up to 9 gigabytes of data, almost 13 times as much. Blu-ray disks can store up to 50 gigabytes of data, more than 5 times that of DVD. A CD is read at 150 kilobytes per second. DVD is read at 1.3 megabytes per second. And Blu-ray at 4.5 megabytes per second. These are considered standard 1x speeds. CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drives are capable of reading each disc at a much higher rate. CDs can be read at up to 52x speed, or 8 megabytes per second. DVDs can be read at up to 16x speed, or 20 megabytes per second. And Blu-ray discs at up to 10x speed, or 45 megabytes per second. The increased speed decreases the time it takes to copy the contents of a disk or to install software onto your computer. When checking a drive's read speeds, look for ROM next to CD, DVD, and Blu-ray. The multiplier will tell you the drive's read speed for each type of disk. A recordable drive allows you to create your own CD, DVD, and Blu-ray discs. You can make a custom music CD, your own DVD or Blu-ray movies, make copies of CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs, or use the recordable drive to make a backup of any of the files on your computer. These drives are referred to as recorders, burners, or writers. CD, DVD, and Blu-ray discs can be written to just as fast or faster than they can be read from. CDs at 52x, DVDs at 24x, and Blu-ray at 12x. However, this isn't always advisable. Often, when you use the maximum speed a disc can be written to, when you take that disc to a CD, DVD, or Blu-ray player, the player will have trouble reading the disc. This can result in skips or not being able to play the disc at all. Try recording your discs at around half speed. It will take a little bit longer, but the reward is not having to burn the disc a second time. Burning at slower speeds will also extend the life of your burner. When checking a drive's writing speeds, look for a minus R next to CD, DVD, and Blu-ray. The multiplier will tell you the writing speed for each type of disc. Most recorders also have the ability to rewrite a disc. This means erasing what is on the disc and then rewriting to it. This requires special rewritable discs. Rewritable CDs are called CD-RW. Rewritable DVDs are shown as DVD+, or minus RW. More on the plus or minus in a moment. And rewritable Blu-ray discs are shown as BD-RE. The burning speed for these rewritable discs are lower than write once blank discs. 32x for CD-RWs, 8x for DVD-RWs, and 2x for Blu-ray rewritables. For DVD drives and rewriters, there are two competing standards, known as DVD plus R and DVD minus R. Add a W for rewriters. DVDs created in one standard will only play on devices that support them. For this reason, the best choice for future compatibility is to look for a recordable drive that supports both formats. These drives are called DVD plus minus R. For rewritable burners, look for DVD plus minus RW. These compatibility issues between plus and minus discs are mostly seen in DVD movies that are burned. When you burn a movie in either format, check to make sure it plays correctly in the DVD player you will be using. Remember to burn your movies at a lower speed than your DVD burner and discs are capable of. Again, this takes a little longer, but you don't want to be the person who invites friends over to watch a movie you've burned only to have the movie start breaking up an hour into watching it. DVDs come in two capacities. DVD 5, which can hold 4.5 gigabytes of data, or just over two hours of video, and DVD-9, with a capacity of 9 gigabytes and can hold over four hours of video. Most of the blank DVDs you'll find in stores are DVD-5s, and can be written to by any standard DVD burner. 
If you want to also write to DVD-9 blank disks, look for dual air or DL support in your DVD burner. Like hard drives, these CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drives connect to the same drive controllers on the motherboard. About half of the CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drives available to purchase use the older IDE controllers and cables. Since most motherboards will not have these IDE controllers in the future, look to get a drive that connects to an SATA controller on the motherboard. For more on the motherboard's drive controllers, see the hard drive or motherboard internal component lessons. The standard DVD burner is the way to go. It reads, writes, and rewrites CDs and DVDs of all types, and is very cheap at around $20. If you want to also watch Blu-ray movies and burn Blu-ray discs, you will spend between $180 and $220 for a Blu-ray burner. Keep in mind that Blu-ray burners can write DVDs as well, but not CDs. If you just want to watch Blu-ray movies on your computer, you can get a Blu-ray player for between $60 and $130. The higher cost Blu-ray players will also have DVD and CD writing abilities. Blank Write Once CDs are around $0.30 cents each. Rewritable CDs are around $0.35 cents each. Blank Write Once DVD Plus and Minus R's are around $0.38 cents each. And rewritable DVDs are around $1 each. Blank DVD-R dual-layer discs are around $1 each. Blank Write Once Blu-ray discs are between $4 and $6 each. Blu-ray rewritable discs are between $19 and $23 each. When you purchase your recordable drive, look for a DVD read speed of at least 16x and a CD read speed of 40x and up. Write speeds of at least 16x for DVDs and at least 32x for CD discs a drive that supports both the DVD plus R and DVD minus R formats, known as DVD plus minus R, and also supports DVD RDL, or dual layer, and prefer serial ATA support instead of the older IDE. If you're purchasing a Blu-ray burner, look for Blu-ray read and write speeds of at least 10x. In the installation lessons, we'll go over how to configure, connect, and set up your recordable drive.